G'day, Dylan O'Donnell here from the Byron Bay Observatory. Now, due to technical difficulties in the observatory and the inclement weather, I have finally snapped, as you can probably tell by my unhinged behaviour. I am sorry for that outburst. But I haven't been able to see a single star for about eight weeks. Not a single solitary star. But yes, if you do need a break from nighttime photography, there is always astronomy's ugly stepsister, solar astrophotography. Okay. Now I have what may be considered the cheapest and nastiest solar telescope you can get. At least the cheapest HA tuned solar telescope you can get, and that's the Coronado PST. It's very small, very dinky, but with a little bit of effort you can get a result. And I'll step you through that process today as I image the sun. But recently I also bought a Lunt 40mm. Now this is a new product that's just been announced, or at least it was announced five months ago when I laid my money down and like an idiot early adopter ordered this product. Uh, but now I don't have an estimated arrival date. I don't have an example photo from this particular new scope. I'm not really entirely sure this scope exists yet or if I've just given my money to a Ponzi scheme. But if and when it does arrive, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison with the Coronado PST, which is really the telescope that this new Lunt one is designed to topple. But I have a feeling it's going to be better than the Coronado PST. So join me in my backyard under the deathly Australian hot summer sun while I scratch that astronomy itch. My name is Dylan O'Donnell and you're watching Star Stuff. <laughs> Do you like doing science? Do you like getting high? Do you like getting high while doing science? If you've answered yes to any of these questions, consider using High Point Scientific for your next astronomy purchase. Now, it's illegal for us Australians to get high, but in the USA, land of the free, you can totally get baked and do astronomy. Now, I don't know if High Point Scientific meant that with their name. I have a feeling it has something to do with being at a high point, like doing astronomy from the top of a mountain where the seeing is clear and you're shooting through less atmosphere. But either way, High Point Scientific fully support their gear and they have a price match guarantee. So there's really no reason not to use them. And if you are too stoned to work out the back focal distance of your particular telescope and camera setup, put down the pizza and give High Point Scientific a call. They know what they're talking about, at least more than you do right now www.highpointscientific.com disc there really isn't a lot of detail especially in something as small and cheap as this uh, we can reveal some of that detail with high-speed photography I'm gonna try and squeeze out just a little more by adding the 2.5 power mate here uh, which should help me get focus but also to zoom in a little closer on those solar details Coronado does have this band where you can sort of tune the uh, hydrogen alpha cut precisely and that can sometimes reveal more surface details. So I'm going to have a go at that. Well, as soon as God stops being a anyway. This setup looks absolutely ridiculous. 
Okay, now I'm seeing some nice surface detail. That's pretty good. I'm reaching the limits of what I can do here though because there aren't a really great prominent features on the sun right now. We're still coming out of this solar minimum, which is super boring, but also I'm bucking up against the limits of the scope as well. Might quickly check for flares, but then that's about it. To be honest, that was actually very enjoyable. It is a bit of a novelty to use the observatory during the day. Thanks to the show sponsor, High Point Scientific today, and thanks to all of you guys who like, comment, and subscribe. I'm pretty sure I have the best comment section on YouTube. You guys are awesome. But that's enough of me blowing smoke up your ass. My name is Dylan O'Donnell. You've been watching Star Stuff, and remember, everything is meaningless, and we're all going to die.